Okay, with regard to this project, when when we found out we could go from 21 foot 6 to 32 foot 8, that changes pretty substantially. And so I thought it asked for some review before we send something over there. And it was already Friday, so I'm just getting something together to send over there. Uh, if you and Cynthia make your choices tonight, we'll send it over before morning. But yes, this room becomes very long. And I know you said don't put any closets in, but really at some point you're going to want closets in there. So you may as well plan for that and just have these people uh, build it while they're there. This is what this film reviews. If you want me to just show this, I can do that because you're paying me. But I thought that the project itself demanded a little bit more. Particularly now it's going to become a substantially more expensive project because it's, it's I mean, we've added you know 35 percent probably to it in terms of area don't forget to pay attention to these numbers because that's where some of this different variations are going to come into play and it gets worse because the room gets even more narrow accounting for the clearance from this electric meter up here and we bring that back down to 15.6 or 15, i think we're going to try to get it to be 15.8 but out here it's shown as 15.6 and so now this room becomes very long very narrow and i moved it over a little bit more that wall up here i moved this over a little bit more because it's beginning to get tight in here and we look at this in the cross section view looking through here and once we fix things up this is what we end up with with this plan here and this is a 15 inch deep cabinet by however tall you would want it we build this wall here completely in front of that box that electric box we can completely cover that I've already spoke with the electric people and we can build this wall here this far inside however this wall should be built wherever it just clears this so that we get the maximum room in here but when you start looking at this a little closer this is the front of the toilet tank here typical toilet tank here and nobody ever you know you can bring that cabinet another three inches forward for an 18 inch deep cabinet by 36 high like this so that thing is now 18 inches deep and it's shown 36 inches high but it should be able to be as high as 48 inches high so this is how this plan is looking at this point where we have nice three foot clearance here between this edge of this stub wall and the edge of a 21 inch deep vanity 48 inch shower and so as I said, I mean, you're going to have to have closets at some point. So I just began to look at putting some closets in here. This closet here has bifold doors. And I've located them so that when those doors are open, this door does not hit them coming into the room. If it's a 30-inch door. So this is what it began to shape up like. This area here with that closet there. I finally start labeling them again 222A is this plan here an 18 inch deep linen cabinet this closet here and remember this is where that the old door the old double door system is right there so we have still have room to play with without getting into any new work on this side this is the part that's going to have to be repaired at some point and I am calling out the height of this interior room when they frame this 93 inch walls so you end up with about 92 and a half inside from the subfloor to the finished ceiling. So you'll end up with a 92 inch high room, presumably. Presumably that's doable uh, in order to get these soffits to align out here. And I added these just as a little additional information, these metric measurements. So it's 6 foot 8 to the top of this 36 inch high cabinet. Which six foot eight is going to be the top of any of your typical interior doors but if you needed more additional storage in there you know you could take out that little soffit that doesn't need to be there and this cabinet can be extended all the way to the ceiling a 48 inch high cabinet and that's 18 inches deep one foot six deep by four foot high 1.26 meters high and then we could actually move that whole notice that this wall does not move in this situation that wall's is well in front i know there's a lot of blank uh, area back here and that would just be filled with 
insulation uh, but this is helping us with our interior bath storage and so we can get that cabinet up to now 21 inches deep and you can see the front of it is still just flushing about with our toilet I would probably move that toilet forward a little bit uh, as well because this is getting kind of snug here 26 inches the minimum is 21 so this is about three feet and this is about 27 inches and I thought you may as well have a little more spacious bath because we've added so much space down here to the west so I have moved this door over and this wall and all of this over another three inches just to give us a, a little more clearance in that bathroom now leaving that aside whether we gain that additional three inches in the bathroom at the expense of this hallway width which is now 45 inches the other question is these doors look like they're in pretty good shape and I'm wondering if we shouldn't just have those relocated down like this so that's what I'm showing for now but this can be a single door uh, with just a single door single hinge door like we've been showing in the former plans or you can relocate those doors down here now apparently I went back to this 27 inch this tighter clearance here on this 222 C plan and I just say you know where do we put the windows and that'll have to be decided I'm making them all awning windows just for your ventilation and light and view even though those don't all these other ones are sliding windows perhaps they should be kept sliding windows uh, even though you get less ventilation so it's a case of how much you like fresh air I suppose because I'd be inclined to make them match what is on your house which is all sliding windows uh, but leaving that aside also for a minute next with regard to these closets now remember when we now we have a 21 inch deep that's a standard uh, depth and that'd be just a big wall cabinet by 48 inches high so that's all the linen storage a person would really need linen and toiletry inside the bathroom nevertheless that one closet is not enough for this and this big bedroom is still 25 foot long so I have just after horsing around with those windows this is how I arranged um, this east side of this with the bathroom with the big linen cabinet and when this uh, and there's still a little bit more yet the bathroom I have 27 inch clearance so that's pretty nice still and this closet is standard depth now you have a, an additional linen closet out here for blankets and whatnot and your room is still 22 feet long finally at E because as I said you have so much space to work with down here now at E I instead of going with this 48 inch shower E moves that whole thing down a foot and so now you end up with a 60 inch shower which is a much standard type of an arrangement a 60 inch shower that window would be centered and that extra foot also makes gives you this set of drawers here becomes 27 inches wide up from 15 inches wide and that extra foot some of that's given over to this linen closet some of it's given to that closet there so now you have uh, you know, over 15 foot of closet space of closet hanging space and you still have a 21 foot by 14 6 room and here it is up close this 222 e plan up close and to be honest if this was something that you end up going with I would probably bring this the other three inches because we have that to spare here this hall 45 inch wide hall is still very wide still plenty of room to operate but there's the 27 inch wide set of drawers uh, and really this uh, 2736 you could actually get a double vanity in here with two sinks if you wanted to so those are all things to think about and then I only made one additional type of alteration here and I know earlier I had uh, talked against any kind of a notch in the wall but because you are going to this expense and adding so much down here there is one additional opportunity or alternative and that is to bump this wall out an additional foot bringing the interior of that bedroom from 14.6 to 15.6 so it's really to my mind it's a decision between this and that for one thing and then it's going to be a decision between 
that and this. So I don't want to confuse things, but it's a, a decent sized project and it definitely deserved some uh, look at the design before you begin to build this or entertain building it. So don't forget there's also the decision about this door here. Now from outside we have this grade to consider and it is right about here to start right here at this corner that is not going to be able to be changed and so all I've done is done the, the maximum according to the typical these are the your the topographical lines and these are accurate so with those the best I could do is tilt this up where it slopes up about three or four inches and it technically should be eight inches off that siding but this is how it exists and we're not going to be able to change that so a person might consider replacing this whole side with a hardy siding or whatever this siding is going to be, which I assume is hardy, so that this is not wood that close to the ground. But other than that, the rest of the lot was able to be arranged. This is looking from the side with the slope of the grade coming down here. The rest of this was able to be arranged like this. And then really you you could have that step right outside the door where it's level with your inside floor um, or that could be down to grade and that's only down a nice seven inches which is not bad step down and of course that can be as big as you like this is shown all the way over to the fence line and it's just about an eight inch step down to grade and of course that could all be you could probably fill this all in if you wanted to with the right uh, fill arrangement so whether you want this little notch here and that gives this bathroom this shower window a little privacy i suppose uh, with that notch and the roof doesn't notch the roof all those trusses remain the same shape so nothing changes there this soffit just becomes a little deeper here and so it works the same whether it's with this notch or without that notch so i hope that gives you enough to think about and and make us uh, pull the trigger on something and I'll send it over if you talk to me yet today I'll send it over tomorrow here's these awnings windows and see how they don't have this divider and when they open they crank out with a little crank and the bottom opens first and it so you get a lot more ventilation but this is really your call whether these are these sliding windows I'm, I, I'm almost think that probably they should be sliding windows just to keep with the rest of the house because there's three or four down here, two or three down here and two or three on the other side as well so but that is enough of that uh, I'm sure I'll talk to you later today and we'll get something over there and hopefully uh, get started